Hi, in this video we are going to be looking at copula functions. This is something new in the syllabus for the CS2 exam of the Institute of Actuaries, the syllabus starting 2019. I intend to create a few videos on this topic depending on the availability of time but let's start with some introductory ideas the question here we are given the join PDF for two continuous random variables x and y 1 over 20 x plus 4 y for values of x between 0 and 2 and values of y between 0 and 2 in part one of the question, we are asked to derive formulae for the inverse CDF, Fx and Fy. And then in part two, we are asked to derive a formula for the copula function, CUV equals to your join CDF. So let's start. Uh, part one, since we have to find the inverse CDFs, first of all, let's go ahead and find your marginal CDFs. Okay, that's what, that's where we're heading. So to do, to do that, okay, to do that, we need our marginal PDFs. That's what you see here. I have my marginal PDF for the random variable X. All I'm doing is I'm integrating out the values of Y. So, uh, I'll get an integral going from 0 to 2, fxy, dy, do the integration, pretty easy to do, and you will get your marginal PDF for x, 1 over 10, x plus 4. Let's do the same for the marginal PDF for y, where we'll integrate out the x, and we'll have an integral going from 0 to 2, 1 over 20, x plus 4y, dx, that's what you see here. Do the integration and you'll get your marginal PDF for y, which is 1 over 10, 1 plus 4y. Good. Next, we'll have to handle the marginal CDF. That's what you see here. For that, you integrate your marginal PDF going from 0 to x. And I've introduced a variable here, s, so that we don't clutter up our integration and you integrate from 0 to x, 1 over 10 s plus 4 ds, do the integration and you will get your marginal CDF, 1 over 20 x, x plus 8. Now we need to do the same thing for the marginal for the marginal CDF for y, that's what you see here, uh, the integral going from 0 to y, f of y s ds, if you don't like S here, you can use T if you like, it doesn't matter. Do the integration and you'll get your marginal CDF for Y as 1 over 10 Y, 1 plus 2 Y. What are we asked to do? In part one, we're asked to work out the inverse CDF, okay? Fx and Fy. So what we can do is, okay, this is what we're trying to work. So we can set U equals to Fx. When you do that, you can write it as u equals to, we found fx earlier, this one here, u will be equals to 1 over 20x times x plus 8. Since we are trying to work out the inverse CDF, all we need to do is make x the subject of this formula. So cleaning up the algebra, I have 20u equals to x squared plus 8x. We have a quadratic in x. Use the formula minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Do that and you will get minus 4. Let me say that again. You will get x equals to minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 plus 20u. Again, minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 plus 20u. We are almost done. Except that we have got a plus and minus here. Uh, we know that x takes values between 0 and 2, so we can drop the minus and we'll get 
our inverse CDF as equals to minus 4 plus the square root of 16 plus 20 U. Let's repeat this thing for the inverse CDF of Y. So let's set V equals to Fy. So V equals to, what is Fy? Good, 1 over 10 Y times 1 plus 2 Y. Again, the idea is the same. We are going to make y the subject of the formula. So cleaning this up, you will get 10v equals to 2y squared plus 2y. Now we have a quadratic in y. The quadratic equation that we have in y is, I've written it here again, 2y squared plus y minus 10v equals to 0. Now we need to solve for y using the quadratic formula and when we do that just like we did for x you will get y equals minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus adv over 2a in this case it will be 2 times 2 which will be 4. Uh, cleaning this up you will get y equals to 1 over 4 in brackets we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus atv. Now the values of y, they go from 0 to 2, so we can drop the negative here and we can write our final answer for the inverse CDF, Fy, as equals to 1 over 4 times minus 1 plus the square root of 1 plus atv. And we are done with part 1. Let's handle part 2. We are asked to derive a uh, formula for the copula function CUV equals to the joint CDF. Now, we don't have this. We need to work it out. Yeah? The joint CDF, fxy, will be your double integral. Yeah? Integral going from 0 to y and integral going from 0 to x, fxy, st ds dt okay we've done quite a bit of double integration in our life so let's just go ahead and sort it out so i have done this part first okay i've done this part first that's what you see here zero to x fxy st ds so we know your join pdf just plug in okay just plug in replace your x with an s and your y with a t and you will get the integral going from 0 to x, 1 over 20, s plus 40 ds. Now do the integration, plug in the value of x, and you will get the first part of the answer, which is 1 over 20 times x squared over 2 plus 40x. Now, then we'll do the second part of the integration. We'll go from 0 to y, 1 over 20, x squared over 2 plus 40x dt. Now integrate with respect to t, plug in the value of y, and you will get your final answer for your joint CDF, 1 over 40xy, x plus 4y. Again, your joint CDF, 1 over 40xy times x plus 4y. Now let's come to this line. Yeah? We have cuv equals to 1 over 40xy times x plus 4y. All that's left for you to do is we have x equals to minus 4 plus the square root of 16 plus 20. You may have found that earlier. We also have y, which is 1 over 4 times minus 1 plus square root of 1 plus adv. So plug in for x and y. Okay, Plug in for x and y. So that's what I've done. Here, let me move this up a little bit. Okay, where you see your x, just plug in what you worked out earlier. That's what you have here. And where you see y, plug in what you worked out earlier. And all you need to do is clean up the algebra. Okay, clean up the algebra, be a bit careful, don't make mistakes. And you'll get your final answer for your copula function, CUV, as 1 over 160 times minus 4 plus the square root of 16 plus 20u and then I have in brackets here minus 1 plus the square root of 1 plus adv 
And then I have in brackets here minus 5 plus the square root of 16 plus 20u plus the square root of 1 plus 80v. And we are done.